What's up guys, Jamie Bunn, Fish Blue Water. Excited to bring you another how-to video here from the channel. So this video is dedicated to Sam Potter. Sam Potter is one of our subscribers and he has a brand new 28T contender on the way, I believe. And he's been watching all of our videos, loving our videos, thank you, Sam. And so he reached out to us directly, sent us a DM and said, hey, uh, I've seen a lot of how-to videos on kites and helium, but never seen a video on how to attach the helium balloon directly to the spar. So Sam, you asked and you shall receive. We're gonna show you today how to get this bad boy easily attached to the backside of that kite so that when you have these no wind days, you're up and flying and ready to catch some fish out of the kite. Now, I have to be honest, full disclosure here. We have way more wind outside than we need for uh, flying a kite with helium, but we're gonna get this bad boy attached and we're gonna fly it anyways. So step one, obviously, is gonna be inflating the helium balloon. Got one of these large, Aluminum helium tanks, uh, very similar to a dive tank. Uh, shout out to my buddy, RJ Boyle. Uh, it's got a great shop just up the road in Lighthouse Point, and uh, he has these tanks available as well. Um, this balloon here is uh, what we call a 36 inch paddle balloon. Um, just about any tackle shop around uh, will carry these balloons. Uh, some of your party supply stores will have them as well. And this particular tank at this size, which is the, the size that I typically like to carry on the boat, um, should be good for anywhere in the neighborhood of, uh, I would say five to seven fully inflated helium balloons. So we've got our balloon. We're going to attach it over the nozzle of the helium tank, like so. And then slowly just open up the gas. Start inflating that balloon. Pull it off of the valve stem. Size will vary depending upon how much wind you have and how you want the kite to fly. But this is a, as far as a rule of thumb is concerned, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but uh, it's a pretty good typical size as far as the helium balloon is concerned. So stand by for one second. I'm gonna get my kite behind me off the display stand. We're gonna get it on this table and then we'll show you how we attach it directly to the spar. All right, guys, so we're back. We've got the kite laying flat on the table, which is something you could easily do on the cap of your boat or whatever. If you've done this a lot, it can be a one-man job. Uh, it's typically easier on the boat uh, with two guys. Back in the day, um, just to give you a little bit of perspective, uh, we used to tie these by knotting the balloon off. We'd attach some wax line, you know, about 10, 12 inches or longer, um, hanging off the balloon. And then we would go around and basically attach the balloon to the center of the spar, like so. And depending on whether you wanted a right or a left turn out of the kite, you would favor the balloon in that direction. We would wax line it off tight to hold the balloon in that place. And you could still do that, but this is a much faster, simpler method in order to do that. All we do is Take the balloon we have here. I'm gonna go directly around the spar, like so. And all I'm gonna do, guys, is tie an overhand knot to that spar, like so. There's my overhand knot, if you can see that. We're gonna cinch that down, just like that. <clears throat> Now, basically, we've created a, a closed connection as far as the end of the balloon is concerned. And 
As far as like a rule of thumb in terms of the attachment, you know, you can slide this up and down the spar depending upon the height that you want. But again, as a rule of thumb, typically a more center placement, it will give you something that you'll be happy with in terms of how the kite flies. The higher that you go, obviously, the higher that it's gonna lift that kite. So we've got it attached. We're ready to put this thing on a kite rod and send it up in the air, which is gonna be the next step outside. So stand by, Sam, coming your way. All right, guys, so we're outside. As you can see by the movement of the kite, we've got a fair amount of wind, it's swirling around. So it's not typically your helium balloon conditions, but we're gonna get this thing up in the air and uh, show you how that connection works out in terms of getting the uh, helium balloon attached and the kite flying and ready to hang baits from it. Jamie Bond, Fish Blue Water, signing off, guys. Make sure to drop a comment and let us know what you'd like to see or hear from us next. <laughs>